Hello, beer drinkers. I have come out of semi-retirement at the request of a dear friend of mine, Carrie, who went through a lot of trouble to get me a very special beer, and her only request was that when I finally opened it that I would do a tasting video and share the experience with you. So here I am making good on the, the promise I made. So for those of you that follow me on Twitter, Twitter, um, that's probably like five of you, you would know that I am a fan of the TV show Once Upon a Time, and more specifically uh, the character of uh, good old Captain Hook. <laughs> um, Captain Hook is uh, played by an Irish actor by the name of Colin O'Donoghue, and I will admit to having a slight fangirl crush on Colin uh, for a few years now, so when he announced that he was planning on doing a collaboration beer with a local Vancouver brewery um, called Main Street Brewing, along with his friend and co-star Sean McGuire, who plays Robin Hood on the show, I got really excited. Um, it was pretty much two of my fan worlds colliding. Again, thank you to my friend Carrie for uh, knowing how excited I was about this and making it happen that I could actually try the beer. That's enough about me. Uh, let's talk about this guy here. So the beer uh, is called By Hook or By Crook, which uh, I don't know who came up with that name, but uh, good job guys. Very clever. Uh, a plus. The beer style is a bohemian pilsner. Uh, it's also known as a Czech pilsner. Pilsners are a type of lager. Czech pilsners in particular are pretty much defined by the use of the saws hop, which is grown in the Czech Republic. According to the label, the ABV on this is 5.5% and it's got a 35 on the IBU scale. So, Without further ado, let's open this and give it a try. I will start by saying that I live in San Diego, California. Um, we're pretty much land of the super bitter ales. But I am going to put aside what I like to call my San Diego bitter ale bias and enjoy this beer for what it's supposed to be, which is not a bitter ale. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. The color is nice. It's got a really nice, pretty gold color to it. The color on the video is pretty true to uh, what I'm I'm looking at here. It looks like it's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good carbonation to it. If you can see those those bubbles going on, it definitely smells like a pilsner, which is different for me. <laughs> Let's do this. This is good. It's definitely very fruity. Um, it's a lot fruitier than I was expecting. Um, but you can also you get the malt flavor. Um, there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. It's it's really well balanced. I really enjoy all the flavors going on here. It's actually pretty complex. There's a lot of different flavors happening and they all work really nice together. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I, this is definitely a very drinkable beer. Enjoy it on its own or, you know, enjoy it with a pretzel or something. <laughs> Probably be pretty good. Yeah, man, the fruitness of it. I'm trying to think of what fruit it reminds me of, but it's very good. So while I'm enjoying uh, my lovely beer, I want to talk about another thing that makes this beer great, and that is that the guys decided they wanted a portion of the proceeds to go to a local charity. So they chose the Downtown Eastside Women's Center in Vancouver, and it's an organization that provides uh, basic services to women and children. You go to the brewery and order one of the beers you are contributing to them. If you don't have the opportunity to visit, like me, you can still make a contribution by either buying some merchandise. Um, they put their uh, awesome logo on some shirts and other cool merchandise items. So you can purchase those online and some of those proceeds will go to the center as well. Or you could of course go to the center website and make a direct donation. If you're interested in either one of those, I will put links down in the info section of the video. 
that's pretty much all I have for you. This bottle is definitely going in my collection. You can see I've already made a special spot for it up there next to uh, the Ballast Point Tongue Buckler because I figured I could probably have a little pirate theme going on up there. <laughs> Colin and Sean, great job on the beer. I'm impressed. I love watching you every week on Once Upon a Time and you know when you're in town for Comic Con this year if you need recommendations for local beer I can help you. I can even find some local loggers. They do exist. So until next time everyone uh, be kind to each other and as always happy drinking. Cheers. Look at how cute Funko Hook is. I love this one. Drink my beer. It's good.